Hello everyone! In today's video, I will be showing you how to sew your own witchy deerstalkers hat. If this is something that interests you, then please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so you know when I post a new video. Speaking of new videos, next time I will be posting about how to sew this beautiful 1910 cape drafted by American Duchess. So make sure you follow along and without further ado, let's get sewing. Okay, so in order to get a hat like this, I'm going to show you what you need to do in order to draft your own pattern pieces. We're going to start off with the cone of the hat. So in my instance, I decided to make the cone of my hat 10 inches tall. You can decide whatever size you would like. You can make it shorter. You can make it taller. My best suggestion would to be make a couple paper mock-ups and just tape them together, plop them on your head and kind of see what you like and the kind of look that you're going for. The easiest way I can describe to you to how to get to this point would be to draw a big X in your paper and from the center point, you're going to want to measure down how long you want your cone to be. So for me, that's 10 inches long. So I just went ahead and I, starting from the point, measured down 10 inches. And I did this for half of a pie shape. And then you're going to want to take, you're going to want to measure around your head and add an inch because this is a cone and not a shaped hat. So you need a little bit of extra give so that it sits on your head a little nicer. For me, that was 23 inches long. So you're gonna wanna take half of 23 inches and measure up from here. And then you're gonna wanna do the same, half of 23 and measure up from here. You could also just say that this is cut on a fold, this pattern piece. So you only have to draw half, easy enough. So speaking of 23 inches, that's this measurement here. This is the brim of the hat. So now that I know I want my brim of my hat to be 23 inches in circumference, then I just need to decide how wide I want my brim. In this instance, I ended up making mine two inches wide. So to draw out your pattern, you're gonna wanna draw out your 23 inch circumference and you're gonna go in by your seam allowance and then you're gonna go out by how wide you want your brim to be and then again add your seam allowance. I've seen some people when they're making this hat that they taper in the brim on the sides so that when the ear flaps are folded up there's less brim that's getting in the way of that. I personally wanted the hat to look like a proper witch hat when the ear flaps were down so I decided not to do that. And the last important piece is our ear flaps. So in this instance, I'll zoom this in a bit for you. Whoop. I decided to make my ear flap about three and a half inches wide and five and a half inches long. That's including the seam allowance. And then I just went ahead and I tapered the bottom so that it's rounded. Uh, again, you can make this any size you want. You can hold a piece of paper up to your ear and kind of make it up as you go. No right or wrong way to do it. Just do what looks and feels good to you. So, Okay, once you have your pattern pieces all figured out and designed, you need to get to cutting your fabric. I've pre-cut all my fabric, so let me go through it all with you. First off, starting with the cone of the hat, you're going to need to cut a piece for your lining and a piece for your fashion fabric. For me, I have a blue wool for my lining and a black wool for the outside fashion fabric of my hat. Onto the brim of the hat, you're going to need to cut out three copies of the brim. Starting off with, again, your blue lining and the black fashion fabric. And depending on the weight of your fabric, which for me is quite lightweight and flimsy, you're going to need an interfacing or some sort of stabilizer for within your brim. I'm using just some canvas that I had, but you can use a medium weight interfacing, some denim. You can work with it and see what works for you. Next, we're moving on to the ear flaps. 
you're going to need to cut out two of your fashion fabric, which for me, I decided to do in a black. And then for a bit of fun, I've cut out some dark blue velvet for the inside of the ear flaps. This was cut with the pile facing down when the ear flaps are worn, that way it's nice and soft. And when the ear flaps are folded upwards into the deer stalk position, the pile will be facing up and therefore it'll be a really dark saturated blue. And then lastly, we have the two straps that will come out of the bottom of the ear flaps. So you need to cut two of those. And I've cut a very little strip again of my velvet to add a decorative strip around the base of the hat. So you'll see how that comes into play later. Without further ado, it's now time to get sewing. Okay, first step is we're going to want to work on the brim. So I'm going to lay my canvas down first. This is just to stiffen the brim a bit. I don't want anything too stiff, but this adds just enough body so that it looks nice. And we're going to want to lay our black wool right on top here. Once that's all flattened out, you're going to want to take your lining for me, it's my blue, and I'm going to place it good side down, facing the black. And again, get this all nice and lined up. And then we're going to want to sew with our 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance around the entire outside edge. Once that is done, I'm going to go ahead and pink this edge, fold it out, and give it a nice iron. Now that we have the three layers of the brim sewn together, we have the underside, the lining of sorts, and then we have the canvas and then the top fabric. I have given this a really nice press. It's nice and flat, nice and smooth. We're now just going to go ahead and do some decorative stitching right along the edge of this brim just to keep it nice and clean and nice and flat. Okay, now that the brim of the hat is done, we can get to the cone of the hat. So we're going to do this for the exact same steps for both the blue lining and the black fashion fabric. We're just going to fold this in half and we're going to sew with our 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance up this side seam here. So again, doing that for the blue and for the black. And then we're going to want to go ahead and cut away our seam allowance, especially at the point. And then we're going to fold them both out and give them both a good iron. Uh, this one is going to end up staying inside out the blue, so it's not as important to iron it. But good rule of thumb, always iron every seam that you sew. Now that we have the big bits of the hat done, we're going to move on to some of the smaller bits. Starting with the two straps that will come out of the ear flaps, we're just going to take each of these and fold them so that the right sides are facing. And we're going to do a narrow seam allowance and just sew along the entire edge 
and then at the end I'm gonna sew it down to a point and then I'm gonna pull them right side out and give them a good iron. Now that this strap is done, it's all pressed, we have our nice little point here, it needs to go into the ear flap. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to lay your outside fabric down and then you're going to take your ear flap and you're going to place it down the middle like this with the edges lining up and then you're going to take your velvet and good side facing down, you're going to put it on top of that and just make a nice wool velvet sandwich. So I'm going to go ahead and pin up the edges here and then we're going to sew along there. So let's go ahead and do it. I'm then sewing along the edge of the ear flap in the same manner I did the edge of the brim of the hat. I think I did about a quarter of an inch seam allowance here, but you're welcome to do whatever suits your fancy. Okay, so now that we have all of the main bits put together, it's time to start doing the final construction. So we're going to take all three layers of the brim and the outside layer of the hat, which for me is black, and we're going to sew them together. So we're going to pin along here like this so that the raw edges are showing on the blue side or the underside. So all along this edge here, give it a press, trim off the edges, and then again we'll take the blue lining, put it inside here so that the blue is showing, and we'll just do some hand sewing along this seam just to finish off the inside, so we'll go ahead and do that. I'm now going in and cutting away the inner four layers of fabric in this seam. This will help reduce bulk and make it easier when we go in to put the lining to help everything lay nice and flat. Okay, so now that we have the main outside of the hat sewn, it's time to put in the lining. And while we're doing that, we'll also put in the ear flaps, but we need to mark out our seam allowance on here because I'm going to put this lining into the hat and then hand sew it together. So in order to keep that nice and even, I'm going to take my little, my measuring gauge here. Super useful, I really recommend anyone to get one. And I'm just going to take some chalk and mark out three eighths of an inch, just like this, all around the edge of the hat. And as you can see, it leaves a pretty distinct line. Now this will rub off pretty quickly if you're not careful. So because we're going to mark it and then sew it right away, it's not a big deal. But if you are going to be prepping some things and sewing another day, I would suggest that you baste this with some thread because this will wipe away just with your fingers pretty quickly. I can even rub it away here just like that. So just one tip, I'm going to go ahead and mark this all up and then I'll push it in and I'll pin in the lining just temporarily and then we can put on the hat and decide where we want to put our ear flaps. So let's get to it. 
Okay, get this pin out of my mouth. Now that I have this marked, I'm gonna go ahead and insert this cone into the brim. In order to do that really nice and tight and in order to keep it there as well, we don't want the lining to fall inside of the hat, I'm gonna sew it in. And then I'm gonna first tie it to the lining. So just one quick stitch here. There you go. It's threaded to the lining and then we're gonna take this pin up through the top of the hat and just go really slow and you want to make sure that the pin comes out through the very top of the hat like that and then boop you just pull it tight and now you can see that the lining is right in there nice and tight up to the top of the cone pull it tight and we're just gonna do a quick knot here Maybe one more for a good measure. And then cut that off. No one's the wiser. And now the lining's nice and snug in there. So we're gonna want to take the back seam of the lining and match it up with the back seam of the front. And we're gonna fold it right where we marked and butt it right up against that seam that we sewed before and give it a quick pin to hold it in place Okay, so I have the lining all sewn in now. I'm gonna give it a good press. So the hat is basically done. If you wanted to stop here, you have a perfectly functioning, beautiful hat that you can wear with the flaps down. Or how I usually like to wear it is I put a little bow right here and wear it with the flaps up because it looks really quite nice and sits nicely on the head. You can tilt the cone back a bit but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bit of my velvet and I just cut it into a half inch strip and I'm just going to sew it right along the bottom here all along and I'm going to do this again by hand. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a cup of tea and sit down and sew that up. And there you have it, the finished hat. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and let me know what you'd like to see next. Also, if you're interested in this hat, please give my Etsy page a look as I'm going to be posting one or two of these for sale. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time!